This is a demonstration of Landsweeper's integration with IBM QRadar. Landsweeper is the industry leader in device discovery, providing agentless, credential-free and credential-based device recognition, identification and asset management across all connected IT, OT and IoT. First, let's install the application. To install an application, go to Admin. You will find the extension management, click on it, and then click on the Add button. Browse for the Landsweeper zip file and click Add. After clicking on the Add button, follow the installation steps and you will get your app installed and it will save over here. Once the application is installed, you need to refresh your browser. Once the browser is refreshed, your application will be available here. Click on the application and you will see the configuration page pop up. Your account is not configured yet, so you will get this page. Now let's click on the Landsweeper account. Fill in the application name, fill in the Landsweeper identity code and the proxy details. You need to provide IP or host name with HTTPS and the respective port number. If your proxy needs username password, then you can enable this option and you will enter the credential here. After completing this required information, click on the authorized Landsweeper credential. It will authenticate all of your Landsweeper credentials. Once all of the Landsweeper details are correct, it will then populate the Landsweeper site. For all options, if you click here, you will see the site Landsweeper site associated with the identity code. Once you select any site, it will remove all options. Then you need to provide a keyword authentication for your instance and click on Save button. It will now authenticate. Once this is done, you will see this landing page where you will get all the details of your Landsweeper application your Landsweeper application name, the poll interval, and the site selected. You also have an edit and delete button. You will also finally see a configuration successful message. When you click on this message, you can edit. You can modify that configuration. You can delete the account also by clicking here. Now let's move on to the second part of the integration. We are enriching the offence notes, so we need to go to the offence tabs. To generate offences, we need to create rules. So when the rules trigger, this offence will then be generated. To create rules, we, provide, we have provided inbuilt rules for Landsweeper. Clicking on the Rules tab, you need to select the Landsweeper Ops group. Here you will find that inbuilt rules you can modify and also enable them. Once you enable the rules, you will find that the offence will be generated. So to view all the offences, you need to go to the Offences tab and you will see all of the offences from here. Based on IP or MAC address of the offence source, the notes will be populated automatically. Clicking on the toggle tab, you can see that notes are populated automatically. In cases where notes are not populated automatically, the user can force them through the Landsweeper context manually through the Landsweeper context info button. By clicking on this, it will edit your configuration and give you the site which is already selected in your earlier configuration. You can also select another site for which you need the offence note. Click on the populate offence note button. The script will run in the background, so you'll need to refresh your browser. Once you've refreshed your browser, go to the offence tab and open the same offence. This is the offence details page. You will see that all the notes are populated. Thanks for watching this demonstration of our Landsweeper app for IBM QRadar.